How's it going troops? Jordan here or Yusuf back again with another uh, Modern Warfare class setup video. In the first class setup video we took a look at a class setup that was built around uh, the new recruits of Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer and using a combination of weaponry and equipment to help rank up. But today's loadout is going to be a little bit different. Today's class setup video is all about leading your team into battle and so I've happily titled this class setup Point Man. So being a point man, essentially you are leading your team into, into the war, hence the term take point. And essentially you're like a team leader taking charge around those corners and killing the bad guys. Taking a look at our mission briefing, this is going to be a shotgun based class setup to lead your team into the battle. Most of the time a point man does use a shotgun of some kind, and so it's only fitting that we make a shotgun based class setup for this loadout. Although this loadout might seem a bit controversial, as you find out. Our duty is to take point when entering buildings to clear out any hostiles in the nearby vicinity and we're going to use our speed and awareness to flank around the enemies and breach their territory. One of the things that most Call of Duty players have kind of forgotten about is checking their corners and this class setup is all about checking corners and making sure there's no enemies that are peeking or camping around them. Because we're going to be using a shotgun, we're going to be going with the best and most powerful shotgun in the game and probably even the best and most powerful shotgun in the last few Call of Duty titles. This is where the controversy comes in and that is the 725 shotgun. For those who might be living under a rock, the 725 shotgun has, uh, let's just say, caused a lot of controversy and a lot of angst amongst the Call of Duty community. A lot of people have deemed this weapon as completely overpowered and broken with many players comparing it to the pre-patched model 1887s. Although as of this recording yesterday there was a patch that got released that actually nerfed this weapon but uh, it only really nerfed in terms of the, uh, the damage range. In terms of how it actually fires and how it works still, it's still pretty good and pretty powerful and so the 725 shotgun is the weapon of choice that we're going to be going with for this class setup. But we're not going to be going bare bones into this fight so let's choose some attachments for this weapon. For the barrel we're going to be going with the Tempest 32 inch competition. This is the last barrel that you unlock with this weapon, essentially this increases your damage range and also provides a tighter pellet spread. And with the nerf that came in yesterday's patch, this attachment is definitely going to be crucial to getting those mid to long range kills with this shotgun. For our next attachment we're going to be going with a laser and this laser is going to be the 1 megawatt laser. This is a low power red laser sight that increases your sprint to fire speed at no additional cost. You could go with the green laser sights, but with the green laser sights it actually gives away your position whereas the low powered red one does not. For our third attachment for this shotgun we're going to be going with the Cronin Pro Light Stock. This increases your aim walking movement speed at the cost of aim instability. As we're going to be flanking corners and breaching enemy territory, we want to have our shotgun primed and ready to fire and so this attachment is really good for that. For our weapon perk in our fourth attachment slot, we're going to be going with good old sleight of hand. This perk really doesn't need any introduction, but as you all know sleight of hand just increases the reload time of the weapon. Because this is a double barrel shotgun, it means you only get two shells before you have to reload two more into the weapon. And so by having sleight of hand it just increases that reload time and allows us to continue our fight into enemy areas. And lastly for our guard we're going to be going with the Forge Tack Steady Grip. This also increases the sprint to fire speed and also increases your aim down sight speed. You're probably thinking well it's a shotgun you know aim down sight isn't too important but uh, with this shotgun especially if you aim down sights it actually tightens your pellet spread quite a lot and also seems to go further in terms of its range. So ADS is definitely important with this shotgun compared to the other ones. And that's going to be our primary weapon for this point man class setup. Moving on now to our secondary weapon of choice, you could go with any pistol of your choosing but for me I decided to go with the .357. This is a magnum revolver pistol that deals high damage per shot and also has really good range. If you fire the first two shells of your double barrel shotgun and you only manage to land hit markers 
you can quickly whip out this pistol, aim, fire and boom your enemy is now dead. So it's a really good backup to use with this loadout. And of course we're not going to be going bare bones with this pistol either, so let's take a look at four attachments we're going to be going with this weapon. For the muzzle we're going to be going with the flash guard. The flash guard essentially hires that muzzle flash and allows us when aiming to stay on target and not be put off of where the enemy could be. Most of the time in Call of Duty games muzzle flash doesn't matter too much, but in this game in particular with how quick the time to kill is, you want to be the first to get your aim on target. And so the flash guard is definitely going to help at no additional penalty. For our second attachment we're going to be going with the 1 megawatt laser. Much like the shotgun's laser, this provides a low red light laser sight extruding out from underneath your barrel. And this laser sight allows us to not give away our position and also increases our hip fire accuracy. For our third attachment we're going to be going with the fast melee perk. Again I don't really need to explain this perk, it kind of says it for itself but it allows you to quickly melee a lot quicker when you pull out this pistol. And lastly for the fourth attachment we're going to be going with the granulated grip tape for our rear grip. This attachment increases the steadiness while we're walking and aiming and also further increases your aim stability. So those are going to be the weapons of choice we're going to be going with this point man class setup. Now we've talked about the weaponry it's time to move on to some perks and equipment. For our first perk we're going to be going with double time. This allows you to double the duration of your tactical sprint which is essentially the super sprint that you see in game and also increases your crouch movement speed by 30%. Obviously being the point man we want to be the first into battle leading the team behind us and so double time is the perfect perk for this. For our second tier perk we're going to be going with hardline. This perk just like in many previous Call of Duty games allows you to get your kill streaks with one less kill. Obviously being the guy that's leading the team into the battle you've got to expect that you're going to be dying quite a lot and so by having the hardline perk it allows us to get our kill streaks with one less kill. And lastly for our third tier perk we're going to be going with Spotter. Spotter allows you to see enemy equipment, field upgrades and kill streaks through walls and buildings and also allows you to mark them out for your team by aiming down sights. This perk is especially useful in this game with all the claymore campers about and so by marking out enemy claymores and other equipment through the walls number one it gives a good indication for our team that there is an enemy in our nearby presence but secondly it stops us from being killed ourselves or any of our teammates being killed. For our lethal grenade we're going to be going with the typical standard frag grenade. This is a cookable grenade that you can just toss and throw and hopefully land some kills with. It's perfect for lobbying into windows and hoping to kill some more campers. Or alternatively you could just cut the grenade and kill enemies off flags. For our tactical grenade we're going to be going with the good old stun. This allows us to slow down enemy movement and disorientate them, giving us a chance to breach and take them out. Not only that though, but also with one of the recent patches, stun grenades now actually disable enemy claymores for 3 seconds. So if you see an enemy claymore in a doorway and you want to get past that to see if there are any enemies nearby, then simply chuck a stun into that doorway, disable that claymore, take aim and fire. So those are our perks and equipment we're going to be using with this point man class setup. Moving on now to our field upgrades and our kill streaks. For our field upgrade I've gone with the tactical insertion. The maps in modern warfare are quite big and so you don't want to be having to run all the way back to enemy territory again. So by going into nearby enemy territory and popping a tactical insertion nearby it allows us to respawn at that location without having to run back across the map again. For our kill streaks we're going to be starting off with the UAV. UAV is 4 kills in this game but with hardline it's 3 kills and with how powerful the 725 shotgun is and also how powerful the .357 revolver is it's not a hard kill streak to attain. The UAV allows us to see enemies on our radar unless they've got ghost on, please infinity ward, fix ghost. So it's a very good support streak for not just us but also for our team. For our second kill streak we're going to be going with the precision airstrike. This is a 5 kill streak normally but with hardline it's 4 kills. When calling in this kill streak, you take out a pair of binoculars and mark your designated attack target. Then two warthog jets come strafing in and rain a fire of bullets to anyone caught up in that target area. And for our last kill streak, we're going to be going with good old Wilson. The Wilson is a small and controllable tank, similar to that of the Cerberus and the AGR from previous games. And I have to say that this little mini tank is deadly. When calling this mini bad boy in, you do have a time duration using it, but you have unlimited ammo which means you can constantly roam around the map and inside buildings and take charge of your team by clearing out any enemy presences. And so troops that wraps up my point man class setup video. 
like I said, it's a little bit controversial, especially with that shotgun. But uh, at least we're making use of our shotgun and not just sitting in a corner <coughs> like most players. So definitely give this loadout a try in game and let me know how you get on with it. If you want to see more of these different class setup videos, then give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. And also let me know down in the comment section below what class setup or loadout video I should do next. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more of these class setup videos for Modern Warfare. And also don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way any of my uploads you'll get notified of it. Like I said in the last video, it feels good to be back in the hot seat doing these videos again. It might be the last time doing these videos for this channel, but there are many more fun class setup videos to come in the near future. So troops, until the next video, I thank you all for watching. Stay true to me troops, and I will see you in game.